Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will talk about gerunds and infinitives. Let's start. All right. First of all, before we start, when we say gerunds and infinitives, many people think that they are all about memorization. So, gerunds and infinitives, you sit down, you memorize so many lists, and this is all about memorization. That's what many people think. But actually, this is wrong. There is so much more to gerunds and infinitives than just memorization. So after this lesson, you will see that gerunds and infinitives are a very easy uh, grammar point, actually. And, there, it, and memorization is just one part of it, not the whole story. All right. And I will also help you with my lists of verbs to memorize as well so you will find it quite easy to learn gerunds and infinitives so don't worry one bit everyone you will be fine when we are doing this lesson all right so gerunds and infinitives infinitives first of all what are they so when we say gerund we are talking about the verb ing form so gerund means verb ing and infinitive means to verb one so probably many of you already know this, but yes, let's just remember gerund is verb ing and infinitive is to verb one. But what are they? Why do we use them? Now, using a verb in gerund form, which is verb ing form, and infinitive form, which is to verb one form, turns the verb into a noun. So we can, we can say that Gerunds and infinitives turn verbs into nouns. So with gerund and infinitive, a verb becomes a noun. And so gerunds and infinitives are used as nouns in the sentence. So, so we can very easily say, we can very safely say gerunds and infinitives are nouns, but they are used with different rules. Okay? So Let's give some examples. Telling the truth in all circumstances is the greatest sign of integrity. So here, telling the truth, telling is a noun, okay? Or, it's rude to talk loudly in public transportation vehicles, all right? So, to talk here is a noun. It's very obviously a noun, okay? Or, Watching the sky and the clouds brings more relaxation than you would imagine. So here, watching is used very clearly as a noun. Okay? So these are gerunds and infinitives. They are used as nouns in the sentence. Alright? But let's remember. State verbs like know, believe, understand, love, these are all state verbs. You remember this from simple present tense uh, grammar point, right? These are state verbs. They can be used without any problems as gerunds and infinitives, but they cannot be used with continuous tenses. So many people say, State verbs don't take verb ing. State verbs don't take verb ing. Now, this is wrong. State verbs take verb ing, but they cannot be used with continuous tenses. Now, this is a very important point, everyone. Let's give some examples. Knowing how to drive a car is a great advantage in this job. Now, here, knowing is used as a noun in the subject position of the sentence and it's fine there's nothing wrong here okay or i cannot imagine being an interpreter between two people who speak foreign languages now being is verb ing here and there's no problem because it's used as a gerund it's not a tense here or Hating your job and having a small salary are two good reasons to leave your job. Now here in this sentence, hating is a state verb, having is a state verb, but they can be used with verb ing because these are not tenses here, okay? But take a look at this sentence, everyone. 
So here I am knowing three languages. This is a continuous tense, everyone. This is very clearly a continuous tense. So it cannot be used with continuous. Knowing cannot be used with a continuous tense. You need to say, I know three languages well. Okay? So everyone, gerunds and infinitives are used as nouns. They can be used with state verbs, well, with any verb in the world, actually. But uh, state verbs cannot be used with continuous tenses. So far, that's what we talked about. Now, let's talk about the first function of gerunds. Now, in this part of the lesson, we will talk about gerunds first, and then we will continue with infinitives. So, first function of gerunds is gerunds can be used as a subject in the sentence, all right? So, verb ing can be used as a subject in the sentence. Taking the garbage out is my duty in the family. So, here is is our verb, okay? Altogether, taking the garbage out is my subject, all right? So, verb ing can be used as a subject. Or, catching cold in winter is usually caused by dry indoor environments. So here again, catching cold in winter is used as a subject. It looks easy, but making delicious tea is actually an art if you ask me. Again, here is, is your main verb here and making delicious tea is your subject after but. So we have two sentences here. Making delicious tea is my subject. All right? So verb ing can be a subject in the sentence. Verb ing can also be used as the object of the sentence without any problems. Let's take a look at some examples. My greatest ambition is... So here you stop for half a second because is is your main verb. My greatest ambition is traveling around the world someday. So here, the question is easy. What's my greatest ambition? It is traveling around the world, okay? So it's the, it's, it's the object of the sentence in this, in this way, all right? Or, the worst thing about winter season is catching calls frequently. Again, is is my main verb here, and catching is not verb, it, it's not the verb, everyone. Here, in this sentence, my verb is is, okay? And catching is a noun. It's not continuous tense here, all right? So, what is the worst thing about the winter season? It is catching calls frequently. And last example, one of my greatest joys in life is, that's my main word, serving tea and cookies to my guests. So serving is a gerund here, all right? So, but sometimes it might be confused uh, with continuous tenses when it's the object of the sentence. Look, th these are all gerunds here, serving, catching, Traveling, these are gerunds, these are nouns here, all right? But take a look at this sentence, everyone. Andrew cannot talk to you now. He is serving tea to the guests. Now here, very, very clearly, is serving is a continuous tense and altogether, this is the verb, all right? But how do you understand this? You understand this from the meaning. You look at the meaning. So if you, if you take a look at here, this shows you very clearly. What is my greatest ambition? It is blah, blah, blah. All right. So it works like this when it's the object of the sentence. All right. Okay, everyone. So let's take a short break here. And after the break, we will continue with prepositions plus gerunds, everyone. See you after the break.